and knowing you were coming, I'm watching, you know, um, John Witherspoon and Charlie Murphy. Oh man, you know I mean? classic and, and show. You, you, you and those guys in scenes, and I mean, how what was it like working with them and losing them? Because it was one after another. Back All then. inspiring and, and 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 heartbreaking. You know, again, we watching these are these are guys that. You know, we've been watching for a very long time. I don't want to say I grew up watching them, but again, you know, yeah. getting there, a lot of my adult years, I grew up watching these guys. So it's definitely humbling and awe inspiring to be on, be on set. You know, being a lead character in a show with Charlie Murphy and John Witherspoon. Come on, man. You know, those guys was the leads, if you ask me. Yeah. You know, again, it was just amazing, man, and it's it's humbling to be, you know, known to know that I'm forever. Immortalized on film with them dudes, man, right, and, right. and it was definitely heartbreaking. You know, Charlie's death was fucked me up, man. Charlie's death fucked me up, brother. That that again, because Charlie was my friend. Everybody on the set was my friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna break it down and like, you know, Charlie fucked with me. Charlie called me. Charlie called me and talked to me. You know, I know. I'm sure he got a lot of people closer to him than than I was. So I don't want to put extras on it. But I know Charlie called me and mm -hmm. we we talked during the off yeah. season. He just called me on a random ass day and we talked. And I can call him and talk to him. And you know that fucked me up because Charlie was a real nigga, man. Mm -hmm. When I tell you a real nigga, like real nigga in the sense of not not in a negative connotation, but you know this man, he was a man's man. You mm -hmm. know, he loved his family. He talked man shit when it was time to be a man. He handled his business when it was time to handle business. And, you know, that shit hurt. You know, again, in the cut to lose John a couple of years later, the elder statesman, uh, definitely a, a, a legend. You know, this guy's been all over the place. This guy's loved all over the world. This guy is, is in, in, entrenched yeah. in film history, man. And, again, to be able to, you know, be a part of a cast that he's on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Actually, one of the last works that he did. Yeah, he's you a legend, man. Definitely, man. He's a legend. So, it was it was all inspiring and heartbreaking, humbling. I could, I got a whole lot of adjectives, man. But that's it, dude. That's Charlie yeah. Murphy and John yeah. Witherspoon, For man. Sure. Yo, re rest in power, rest in paradise, Charlie <laughs> Murphy and John Witherspoon. Did he tell stories on the set? Yes, indeed. Charlie shared some very very wild stories with me. You know what I'm saying? We we'll smoke blunts. We'll sit in this trailer and smoke blunts and shit and talk shit. And, and Charlie definitely bestowed some game upon me. You know what I'm saying? I knew Charlie was my friend because he let me come kick it with him in his hotel room, man. We in there smoking and shit, talking shit, man. You know what I'm saying? He took me on the road with him. Charlie, I, I credit Charlie with actually, you know, putting stand-up comedy. Oh, is that right? Other. Yeah, man. Cause okay. He, mm. You know, again, working with him and seeing him, he took me out with him. Charlie, I'm, I'm like... Less than twenty shows in, and I'm I'm on the road with Charlie Murphy. So that was an amazing thing, man, and I love him forever for that. And you know, again, that's why I'm still grinding on the stand up because you know I want to make him proud in that regard. Cause that's that right. nigga told me get this money, man. Dope. That's yeah. right. Cause we we need yeah. people. Yeah, we need people like that. Yeah, give it. Yeah. 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 Yeah